What's going on guys? Coach Chris Specht here from Amazon Selling Hustle. And in this video, we are going to go over Jungle Scout's second tool that is extremely important called the Chrome extension. I am going to show you how the Chrome extension applies pretty much 90% of the time when you're doing product research, if not more. Probably some people say it's 100% of the time, but I think it can't be because for people who don't have the tool, they obviously know how to do product research without it. Um, but if you have a product research tool of choice, I would recommend and always recommend buy the Chrome extension. It's a one-time buy. Um, there's two options. I think it's called basic and premium or something like that, or basic and professional. Um, I own the professional one uh, because it's a one-time buy. I think it's one's 100 and the other one's 200. To me, it's like a pair of shoes, but you own it, buy it once and you own it forever, which is different than the web app, which is a monthly subscription. So you, you basically use it and then cancel your subscription when you're done. Um, either or, um, the Chrome extension is great because it works off the interface of Amazon. So when you add it to your Chrome, uh, Google Chrome, it populates in the top right corner, the JS symbol. So now when you're doing product research on Amazon, you could just be sitting here and there's lots of ways to do product research without the web app. The web app is simply the fastest way to come up with your criteria, the products that match your criteria. In the prior video, we put in all the details and right away I have 19,000 products to look at. I can then source by sort by weight from heaviest to lightest. That's not what I want to do but I want to do it from lightest to heaviest and I'll probably get upwards of you know 40 50 percent of these listings will qualify in exactly what I'm looking for products that sell over 300 uh, units a month meet uh, a certain price point between I said 18 and 50 dollars so this one sells for 39 it's a morph 18 piece save sable makeup brush set so very unique i'm not too sure it fits in the beauty category um there's 30 dollars net profit after amazon fees of nine dollars that's a, a fee we pay amazon to do the work for us pick and pack boxes shipping packages shipping handling postage uh taking credit cards all that type of stuff is packed in there it's nothing but great value plus you become a prime seller so all those people with prime they're fba no one else is uh, and therefore you're going to gain at least 10 times the sales uh, as if you were not an fba seller but the criteria fits so now i would look into that product i'd be interested in that product uh, and i'd want to learn more about that product and that's where the jungle St uh, scout chrome extension comes into hand so like i said it's the yin and the yang uh, the two products work together, but the Chrome extension works with other product research methods that I'll go over in the next videos to come. So now um, you're you're looking at products on here and you're trying to determine if this product is good. So you may have your risk calculator open and you're trying to determine things like what is the price point? How much demand is total for page one? I need to look up broad keywords for this particular listing. Um, the, the, the product I like to use is stability ball or exercise ball. So exercise ball, that's the product I like to use in this example. So it pulls up exercise balls and we see that not sponsored, but we see that in organic, tri deer ranks number one, promic ranks number two, and then live in uh, infinitely ranks number three okay so now so that was for exercise ball now i'll put stability ball and let's see who ranks in the top three so we'll skip sponsors so try deer he has the number one spot again dyna pro different has number two yeah different he dyna pro was a sponsored here Pro Mike was the third one. Dyna Pro has number two for this one, and then Pro Mike is number three. 
So those guys have kind of flipped in that category, but Tridere still holds the number one. Then we'll type in Swiss ball and see who ranks at the top. Not Tridere, so now it's Lux Fix. Dynapro still has a spot, and then Tridere has the third spot. So we've never heard of Lux Fit. He ranks number one for Swiss ball, but he doesn't rank in the top three on the drills that are two categories, and so on and so on. You would keep going and see what the ranking is for your top listing. And ultimately, when you, as you start selling months into selling on Amazon, your goal is to get to page one and ultimately to get to that number one spot and acquire that number one spot, not for just one set of keywords, but like I explained for multiple sets of keywords. If you can get five sets of your main keywords or eight, you wanna rank on page one for all of them. And that's how you will maximize your sales. And instead of selling five to eight units because you're only maximizing for one, now you're selling 30 to 50 units because you're maximizing for all the potential keywords that people will think of when they're typing in the search box for the product they want to buy. So now, what does Jungle Scout's Chrome extension do? Jungle Scout's Chrome extension gives you the analysis or the analytics of everything that's on page one or that's populated on this particular page. So you get this little box that pops up here for the keyword Swiss ball. I now can see a little front view of all the products uh, that are currently on page one. I don't have to scroll through them all. I see the name or the listing title. I can hover over and see the product. The Chrome extension also eliminates um, sponsored ads. So you're just seeing the organic listings. So again, here's the listing title. Here's the brand, LuxFit, like we said. Here's the price that LuxFit is selling for, uh, $13.95. Here's the category that they're in, sports and outdoor. Here's their rank. Now here's his sales for the month. He does a thousand uh, sales a month of that particular product for a total revenue of $14,117. He has a, a ton of reviews, 624 reviews. And his rating, his consumer rating uh, is four stars. Uh, he's the only seller. Uh, Amazon fees are $6.68. So that will give you, and if I can pull this over a little bit more, yeah, I can expand this out. That will give you a net profit of $7.27, to which he's got to take his cost out of there. So um, even if his product cost him four dollars, that still leaves him three dollars. Three dollars times a thousand sales is three thousand dollars in profit after all expenses. Um, this is the weight of the product, so this is a three pound product, uh, and his listing quality score is a six. So just meaning his bullet points are really nice, his title is good, his pictures are good. His description is good. So that's just an overview of this particular listing. Now with the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, you actually get to see all the listings on page one. So if I scroll this down and it goes all the way to 24, I get to see all the listings. So now the advantage of this is and the disadvantage of, of the web app. So the web app has an extreme advantage in that it picks all the products for you. But the disadvantage is it only shows you individual sales. You don't get to see the broad sales if there's actual true demand. You only get to see if there's individual demand. Um, true demand is when you take all the sales of all of page one and you add it all up and you see what kind of demand here. Well, right away, we see this guy right here. You know, So we know that he's killing it. Here's a prime example. On one keyword, he's ranked number one. On his second keyword, he's ranked number one. On his third keyword, he's ranked third. Versus this guy, Liz Fit, he's only ranked number one for one keyword. He's probably not ranked for the other two keywords, and that's why he's not making any sales, so, as much sales as this guy. So this guy is selling for approximately the same price, $12.49, but he's doing 7,600 sales, almost seven times the sales because he's ranked for those three keywords, 
and probably a few more other he's probably ranked at page one okay so the power of ranking your product at page one can just soar your sales so now um, we can see all the sales in total this one is 1,000 this guy here Dynapro is selling 3,000 this guy's selling 7,600 this guy here he's only got 75 reviews he's pretty brand new he's selling for 1999 um, an anti-burst ball and he's selling for uh, he's doing 300 sales but he's got a higher price point and he, because he's ranked so well he may do some decent sales um, then we got 2400 and as you can see it keeps going and going and going this guy right here way down the page is doing 10,000 sales 10,500 sales okay we can also check things like multiple seller or the same seller if there's a guy who's dominating the listing we can check that at a glance right here and say okay there's guys selling he's got of the top 10 he's got three or four spots that would mean that the listings dominated I'd likely stay away from something like that the reviews are really hefty here you know so this is at a glance and it really is a great analysis tool to let you know if the product is good or not I'll show you a product that um, is got good sales but the review so it it meets all of our criteria like this one doesn't meet my criteria I would walk away from something like this but I'll show you a product that meets my criteria so um, but don't sell any of these products because uh, one they're way too competitive um, so you're not going to do well in selling these products so I would just stay away from them they're just for example purposes the second one that I'm going to show you um, is no longer uh, a gated or it's a it's a restricted product now on Amazon um, there are still sellers on there I don't know why but it's actually been announced that it's restricted you're no longer allowed to sell it on Amazon and it's a spy camera so I use this example of a product that is doing great sales and would be easy to get to page one so you know they can obviously hide spy cameras and pens and glasses and USB chargers and remotes and all these sorts of things have spy spy camera chargers you could go into specifically into pen camera char uh pen spy spy camera or you can go into charger spy camera or glasses spy camera there's all these individual niche niches but obviously the broadest keyword that you want to rank for is spy camera so now we'll just run the numbers on spy camera and i'll show you a product that has great sales and low competition Okay, so when you look at the sales, you look at page one, you go, okay, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand. So there's upwards, you know, again, it's not like the Swiss ball. The Swiss ball was really dominant, but these are pretty good sales. If you look at the top 10, my criteria was 300. The average sale per individual is 590. Okay, um, so that almost doubles my sale the average sell point is forty six dollars which is below my fifty dollars which again meets my criteria it's not exceeding so it's a it's an impulse buy price point um, and the average reviews I put 50 it's only nine above 50 which 50 is probably the lowest I would ever put when trying to research products that I can get into a category normally I'll put a hundred if I'm anything under a hundred I am 100 percent in so this product is absolutely excellent you know there's a couple sellers here that are a little bit high 200 100 200 but for the most part of all the listings on page one they're all under a hundred uh, and actually really close to to uh, below 50 so now I, I know and I feel confident in getting to page one now it just becomes a matter of can I can I compete with some of these listings? Are they good quality? Are they bad quality? Their listing score for the most part is six or lower across the board. Some fives, couple fours, six seems to be the highest. So there's a there's four spots for me to somehow, some way make my listing better than the comp the competition. So all this is in the Jungle Scout Chrome extension is a great analysis tool. You can use it for things you're thinking about selling. Again, that's a concept that a lot of people say, well, you know, what you think sells on Amazon probably doesn't sell on Amazon. 
but you would never know if you didn't have a tool like this where you could check the numbers and see for yourself if the product has demand or not. If the product has potential and it's a product you thought of, then you're probably more passionate about launching it. If it's a product in the staplers of offices, and you would probably have no real great connection other than the profit that you would make from it. So um, I'm always telling people, yeah, definitely come up with your own concepts, but run the number run numbers through Jungle Scout. And this is how you'll come up with product niches. So now I would go, okay, well, let's look at spy cameras in the eyeglass category and see what, how the sales are doing for spy, spy camera eyeglasses. Spy camera eye glasses okay so now we got all the eyeglasses that have a spy camera built in okay so now we're going to look at those particular sales and see how they're doing and as you can see the numbers really drop off they're not all that popular but there's low reviews right so that's not a category so right away i, I don't like it so now i would look maybe it's eyeglass maybe we don't want to eye glass spy camera okay so change up the keywords and look at multiple keywords don't just look at one set and go and eh. you got to look at multiple strategies i sun we can go sunglass actually let's actually take a look at this guy so eyeglasses with mini hidden camera so eyeglasses hidden camera hidden camera is another broad keyword hidden camera is another broad keyword so now we can check so we got spy camera hidden camera staggering sales really good really good really good really good a little heavy at the top but there's still some decent balance going down 688 because of this guy but there's still some decent balance going on i would say it's still an average of 300 really low reviews for the most part all are under a hundred i like to see that two or three have some high but that's not bad now i'm looking if it's brand dominated the top 10 i see a couple so right here wnat and wnat that's two places of the top 10 if he took a third that would probably dominate the brand it would make me a little scared but it doesn't i love the price point Reviews are low, so high demand, low competition. Okay, so then you could look, okay, hidden camera USB. You could look into that niche specifically and see what you have. Good sales, low sales, good sales. So, I mean, really varies across the board. Some sellers are better than others. Low reviews across the board, as you can see only one two guys over a hundred so again that's a really good niche to get into average sales just under 300 but the profit is more is going to be more than ten dollars so where i'm thinking okay i gotta launch a twenty dollar profit twenty dollar product to make ten dollars profit now it becomes a situation where i'm almost at my my 300 per month but i'm almost doubling my profit so that's actually a great situation right there and a really good product to look and launch it. Um, again, don't launch this product because it's become a restricted product. Amazon is not accepting any more new sellers. I think they're letting these people sell out their inventory and then that's it. So, um, and if you don't believe me, feel free to go and look into that. But Spy, Spy in general, uh, Hidden Cameras has been, Amazon has decided no longer to sell Hidden Cameras on Amazon. Um, and I'll give you another example here of something with staggering sales that you can analyze. Let's go to here. We'll put in um, food thermometers. Uh, it was a good niche about a year ago. You could have got in at the same point as spy cameras, but they have taken off. Um, and if you run your Jungle Scout numbers on it and just take a look at the whole pie, I mean, 21,000 sales per month at $12.99 at $8 profit. So if he's getting, if he's doing that much volume per month, he's probably getting the product for under $2. So he's making at $6 at 22, he's making well over um, 120 
a thousand dollars a month profit profit we're not talking revenue his revenue is two hundred seventy thousand make a hundred twenty thousand dollars a month profit selling on on Amazon for that particular category now as you can see like all the reviews I don't know how this guy snuck in here but he snuck in here he's got 79 he's making 485 sales but he's right around the ten you know just about the top 10 once you start getting below the top 10 it's tougher and tougher and tougher but obviously as you can see these guys are still making sales so that's a staggering staggering category to be um, selling and if you would have gone into something like that early you would um, retire off one listing but there are like I said 18,000 listings that are just like um, the spy camera that have populated right here 19,000 now half of those are going to be too heavy um, and then of the half half of those are going to be products that are brand names that you're not going to sell so you'll be left with about 5,000 products that you'll look at that you might have potential of the 5,000 products I'm pretty certain you're going to be able to find a product that will um, be a, a great launch to sell on Amazon so that's how you use the Jungle Scout web app, but mainly that's how you use the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. I would recommend both of them. Um, definitely, even if you end up with the basic of the Chrome extension, it's got a lot of good features. It doesn't have them all, but it's got a lot of good features, uh, and it does the exact same thing. So the links, again, they're in the resource section. Uh, so head down there, grab the link on that. It'll give you a trial as well, so uh, you'll be able to test it and see how you like it. And if you don't like it, you can um, just cancel your subscription or return your order of the extension and get your money back. Um, all right, guys, I will see you in the next video.